Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Sam and I am going to do a hopefully shop with me and review of the cauliflower, cauliflower um, pizza. I know so many people have been talking about it lately and a lot of my friends have been talking about it. Um, I've actually been looking for it in the store, but I just, I haven't found it yet. So a friend of mine said that she found it at our Walmart. So I'm going to go try and find it. Um, and if I do find it, I'll show you guys where I find it and, um, take it home and give it a try. So I am kind of on like a weight loss journey right now. Um, I'm not doing low, um, I'm not doing low carb, but I did see that the calories were pretty low on the pizza, so I figured, hey, let's just give it a try. Let's taste it, see how I like it, see if my kids like it, um, and you know, let you guys know if it's something worth buying. So here we go. <laughs> Julia and I are gonna head into Walmart right now and see if they have. not with the frozen pizza, but I did find this um, cauliflower pizza crust by Green Giant. So maybe we're getting closer. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. All right, jackpot, we found it. It is not with a pizza, it's over here with a healthy meal section and it's down here on the bottom. So, looks like they have, it is 6.78, they have margarita, and then the crust, and then this is a different brand, that's not what we're looking for. So, we're gonna get the margarita. And it is 6.78, the crust is also 6.78. So, we found it. Juliet say jackpot. <laughs> jackpot. So we are home now and I actually put my girls down for a nap so I would be able to film this. Um, so I didn't um, give them any of this for lunch. I gave them something else for lunch so we'll have to do another taste test with them another time. Um, but I wanted to show you guys um, a comparison of what we normally buy. So this is the DiGiorno Thin Crust, and this is the Cala Power. And um, I just wanted to do a comparison for the nutrition facts uh, between these two. So I guess right away, um, the Cala Power is half of a pie, which is a pretty good amount. Um, so the serving size is half, so there's two servings. Um, each half is 330 calories, 15 grams of fat, and 37 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. Now, I know if you're doing keto, this probably is too high for you. Um, I know you can subtract the dietary fiber from the carbs to get a total of 34 grams, but when I was doing keto, I think we were supposed to stay under 30. And you know, there's, there's carbs in everything. But, um, so this would be kind of like a splurge. I don't know if this would be keto approved, but it's definitely low carb. Okay, so now for the DiGiorno. Um, the serving size, and my camera is just not focusing. I don't know why. Oh, there it goes. Um, the serving size is a fifth of the pizza, which is much, much, smaller of a serving um, and 
calories are 290, which is less than the cauliflower, but it's a much, much smaller piece. Um, fat, there's 12 grams of fat and 30 grams of carbs and 15 grams of protein. So if you take away um, the dietary fiber, you get 28 grams of carbs. So this technically is like less of everything, but it's also a much smaller piece. So the piece is about 130 grams per serving. And this one is, well, actually not that much, 165 grams per serving. So um, you do get a little bit more per serving with the Kala Power. So I'm about to put this in the oven and take it out, let you guys know how it is. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention is that the Kala Power is um, gluten free. So if you are um, someone who eats gluten free, this is definitely um, a good pizza option for you. All right, so just to elaborate on that gluten free thing, um, this pizza is not marketed as being low carb. It's marketed. Um, it's saying here that the woman that founded the founded Call Power Pizza, um, she, her sons have gluten allergies. So, um, that's why she founded this company. So it is marketed more towards gluten free than it is, um, as low carb. So just wanted to put that out there for you guys. It is um, not considered technically low carb. It is considered gluten free. All right, just unwrapped from the plastic wrap and it does seem like it's a little bit thin. It's actually very thin, but I do like thin pizza. So that's good. I'm gonna take it off the cardboard and um, I'm seeing some veggies and cheese so once again, this is the margarita flavor. Um, there's no meat, but I think they have a couple different options with meat. Turkey pepperoni, pepperoni veggie, three cheese, plain crust, and paleo plain crust. So the paleo was probably a lower carb option um, than what this one is, but this is the margarita. And let me see if I can measure it. <laughs> All right, so it is about nine, a little bit more than nine inches, not quite 10 inches. And our oven just dinged, it's at 425. So oven is ready at 425. I'm gonna put this in the oven and set the timer. Okay, pizza is in the oven, and I am going to set the timer for 14 minutes. Let's see. Uh, yes, it says 13 to 15 minutes in a conventional oven. So I'm going to set it for 14 minutes, and be right back. All right, so we have less than three minutes to go, and I smell burning. I don't see burning, but I smell burning. It looks really good, actually. Hmm, let's see. Time's up, and pizza's looking good. All right, I'm going to need two hands to take this out, so I'll be right back. So I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it did stick a little bit to the oven grates. So I would probably next time put it on a cookie sheet. But here it is. It looks delicious. I'm gonna cut it into, I guess, fourths. Um, I planned on eating half of it because that's 330 calories and that is what I accounted for for my lunch today. So I'm gonna cut this into four and then do a taste test. So here goes with the taste test. I actually cut it into eighths because um, it's just easier to eat that way. So let's see. Hmm, 
not bad. The cheese is really good. And the crust kind of just tastes like thin crust pizza. I like it. Kind of almost like a crackery crust. Um, yeah, it's good. Definitely a good option for um, if you're trying to do gluten free. Mm. Very, it's very tasty. Um, a little bit crackery, I would say. Tastes a little bit like a cracker, the crust does. But um, overall, I think I really like it. Um, hmm. Very tasty. And definitely does not taste like cauliflower at all. Um, it tastes more like a cracker than anything else. Um, you could probably get away with not telling someone that this was um, cauliflower pizza and they'd probably eat it. I think my kids would definitely eat it. Um, if you're looking for a healthier option to frozen pizza, but, um, yeah, for the low, for the amount of calories for how much you get, I would definitely buy it again. I really like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I want to do some more videos like this with some taste tests. Um, I'm also doing a weight loss journey right now. Um, if you haven't already started watching my weight loss journey. Um, so go ahead and please click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And if you'd like to follow me along on my weight loss journey, um, I'm doing totally just like eating healthy, working out, um, eating, um, under a certain amount of calories a day and working out. I'm not doing any sort of like um supplements or anything like that just low calorie and working out so if that's something that you want to follow or you want to try yourself um please go ahead and click click subscribe so you can see more videos about my journey thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video bye